Hi guys. Oh, I'm excited. When am I ever not? <clears throat> but yeah, I have an awesome um, craft haul video that is predominantly material based. In fact, it's all material based. Um, yeah, it's all material based. Um, and I'm just going to get on with it. One second while I have a drink. Which I'm actually going to move just over here off site because I, um, last time I tried doing this I actually ended up dipping parts of one of them in the brew. Um, lighting's a bit iffy today. Natural lighting is anyway. Sun keeps going in and out because it's raining on and off. It's freezing cold outside. So I've had to put the um, thingy light on. White light. You know, whether it works or not, I don't know. I did this yesterday with this light on and everything just looked really, really dark. So, I'm just wondering whether having the big light on might help as well. So, we'll we'll double up and we'll have both today. But, yes. So, last week on Monday, I went with my mother to Carphone Warehouse. Um... No, I'm really not liking that light on. It is looking really dark. Um, but yeah, so last week on Monday I went to Carphone Warehouse with my mum for her to get a new phone. And across the road, but next door, to the Carphone Warehouse is a big, massive charity shop called Dr. Bernardo's. Um, and it is a big shop, Come, you know, in terms of our charity shops here in town, it is big. Um, but yeah, so of course we went and had a look, we always do and oh wow, you know, just my eyes were completely having a party <laughs> we're like, oh my gosh, I wanted to buy everything, in fact I, I very nearly did um, but yeah, so I have kind of started changing the way I look for things when I go into charity shops because previously I have been, that is casting one nasty shadow, isn't it? I have been looking for things like curtains and stuff. Oldish style curtains and stuff. Because a lot of the old style curtains tend to be thick, um, very good quality, and usually upholstery style. <clears throat> I haven't been able to find a lot. Um, so I started looking... At different things and I found this this is actually a curtain but it reminds me of voile it's not but it reminds me a bit of voile it's very thin very see-through it is a bit tatty in places but there's some good little patterning on it patterning can't speak today um, you're not even seeing because the light is so dodgy um, but yeah there's some good little patterning on it that I can use even just for layering will be good. There's a very good amount of it. It were only a pound, so it had, I had to have it regardless. I will find a use for it. I don't think it's good enough quality really to make a journal cover out of because, like I said, it is quite rough and bitty and bobbly. <clears throat> but I like the patterns on it, so I'm hoping I will find a use for those. But yeah, so I grabbed that. Also, I'm hoping it might look a bit better once it's tea dyed or coffee. I'm going to have another go at coffee dyeing. I don't like coffee dyeing, I've mentioned before, because I don't like the smell of it. When I do it myself, I don't, anyway. Um, but yeah, um, and then I was looking at these pillowcases, which are gorgeous. There's two exactly the same no duvet that came with them i checked but two pillowcases and this material is very similar to my curtain material here in the workroom um well workroom craft room studio or whatever it's been called about seven different things now um i still refer to it as a workroom taylor says no it's a craft um not third man says no it's your craft room taylor says it's now a craft studio <laughs> Apparently craft studio sounds more professional. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a happy place. Anyway, yeah, this is an absolutely gorgeous design. I really love that. Do you know, I wish, I'm actually thinking of scanning that 
and then shrinking it down just to make it into a tag because that is absolutely gorgeous but I'm thinking it'll also make a really nice <clears throat> maybe cut that way a really nice kind of journal cover kind of like traveler's notebook style journal cover I don't know we'll see but yeah gorgeous I love it um, <clears throat> so I have two of those Obviously, because it's a set of pillowcases. It must have come from a double duvet or a king size, because there's two pillowcases. Don't normally get two pillowcases if it's a single. Um, shame the duvet weren't there. I'd have bought that as well. The duvet cover, sorry, not duvet. I'd have bought that as well. So I got those. Near enough everything was predominantly a pound, or if it was in a set, it was two so but it was well worth it I and mean, you know i could have spent so much more as well and as much as i wanted to i figured i'd better stop somewhere because i've nowhere to store it <clears throat> i'm gonna save them till nearly last because that is awesome i got these again two pound because there was two of them like i said they were all predominantly a pound each and if it was a set there was two um this it's not it's nothing i don't know why it's nothing like it to be honest they're just a pattern but it reminded me so much of birds flying over the beach i don't know like seagulls flying over the sea over the beach so i am thinking um eventually when i ever get around to doing it i was thinking my sea sea themed journal nautical themed journal i don't know it's just screaming ocean to me what do you guys think um, you know, these are really good quality, look at this. It's actually a John Lewis set and 100% cotton. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and the material on the back is also really good quality too. So, you know, cut these open and get a really good amount of material out of these. No, I actually did, like I said, I did this video yesterday and then I deleted it watching it back. I'm like, gosh, the, the quality of that is terrible. Everything, will, it will later on in the day when I did it and it just went, I'm filming so I don't notice, but the the quality just went from really bright to really dark because the, the lighting changed as the day was drawing to an end kind of thing. And it was like, oh my gosh, I never realised when I'm actually filming. But... Um, touching lamp again um but yeah i watched it back i'm like i can't even watch that it's gone from like broad daylight to night time and i haven't even noticed while i'm filming and you can't see anything it's too dark everything looks a lot darker than what it is and what have you so i deleted it and filmed again and i'm kind of glad i did because the amount of mistakes i made yesterday when i was trying like figuring out what i could get out of each thing and how many was just mad i'm never good at numbers and maths anyway you guys or you you guys that are regulars know that but honestly it's like i really needed to just go to stay in bed yesterday um but yes so i've got a um a pillowcase here this is a pillowcase and a duvet cover that matches it's a single one and there's so much on this so much design on this look at it this is just the pillowcase. The duvet cover is exactly the same. But yeah, I just love the deep, rich colours in this. That's one side. This is the other. But yeah, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the beading around the edge, which I can potentially get off as well when I cut it up. I can... <clears throat> when I get in there... Um, somewhere oh no because it doesn't go right to the oh no um it doesn't go right to the end but i can when i cut this off i could potentially get that beading off and use it as a trim or something um but yeah very good quality i'm very it feels quite thick i could get tons out of that thinking journal covers and all sorts out of that excuse me um I will, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, excuse me again. I will be scanning these guys. Undecided yet whether they'll ever make it into the Etsy shop. I've been asked loads of times, you know, are you ever going to go down that route? And I'm like, well, I'll think about it, but I don't know. 
but I'm just letting you know because a heads up sooner or later you might see me using these myself as pages or tags or whatever designs um, <clears throat> but yes yeah, so exactly use the duvet cover I'm not going to put it all out because it is basically exactly the same as the pillowcase just bigger but yeah there is so much potential for these so so much that would make a beautiful belly band that would also make a beautiful book cover uh, like spine book spine cover um trim whatever you want to call it it is approximately yeah approximately four inches from that bit to that bit from there to there it is three and a quarter inches just that bit <clears throat> you know so that is perfectly acceptable for a spine cover just gorgeous just gorgeous wow 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 yeah um, like the reverse of that is exactly the same as the reverse side of this so it's just that design all over so I'm not going to fold it all out and show you because you're just seeing the same thing basically but in on a bigger much bigger scale again oh actually this was two pound this one but you know considering what it is the duvet and pillowcase I think that was a very good bargain um, <coughs> I can't even fold it all properly now. Um, let me put that over there out the way. Oh, and I must remember, I forgot to do this yesterday, but I must remember to put that to one side and keep that for last because that's awesome. This, oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is definitely getting scanned and highly likely will make it into the Etsy shop. This. <laughs> Oh, I laughed so much when I was in the shop. I actually found it, and when I realised what it were, I stood there and I actually howled with laughter. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, Mum, can this be any more appropriate for a journal maker?" Um, I'm like, "I've got to have it. It is mine." Um, again, it's a duvet cover, but oh, honestly, it is brilliant. Just let me unravel it because I folded it up from yesterday. There is just oodles and oodles of potential for this and so many so many different covers and stuff to be made from it this to me screams vintage kind of modern vintage if you will um but yeah these kind of ladies to me look vintage but you know it's got quotes with it too it's like turn that smile into success beautiful beautiful image. i love how vibrant these images are as well um there's one there never fully dressed without a smile i love how she's just chilling out there then there's this one this one got me as soon as i saw this i'm like oh my god this is when i shouted at my mum and i'm like oh my gosh can you get any more appropriate for a journal maker look at that i've got a ready-made cover so yeah <laughs> can't you tell i'm excited it is a book look at it guys it's a book so there you go you know you just cut that out <laughs> leave a little gap around it obviously cut that out back it on something fold it in half you've got a ready-made journal cover right there right there you know pretty as a picture rise and shine rise and shine sunshine awesome awesome and these patterns repeat all over this cover you know that was like oh my gosh proper like cooing and oh my gosh in the shop <laughs> but yeah um so this one says, bit of lippy and you're ready for anything. You know, a bit of lace and everything there. Just, just wow. <laughs> just wow. Again, you've got that one there. And then, like I said, this is now where they start repeating. But there are some, there are some other ones on the next row down. So let me just fold that in the right way to get them in. There you go, then we've got these ones, like the next row down on that. Oh, here we are, this one. It's folds over on the crease. It folds over there on the crease, but obviously when it's cut up and folded out, there's one there that says, Seize the day by the lapels. And then there's this one, which says, I just called to say you are amazing. And then, well, everything's just gone tumbling over the edge of the desk, never mind. 
This one here, Dancer Beautiful Flowers, that's one classy lady. Um, <clears throat> you gorgeous girl, you. Just, well. <laughs> and then, there you go. That would get make another lovely, go uh, lovely journal cover, because it's, <laughs> it's all coming up. Yeah, it's all coming unfolding and what have you. But yeah, they're just chilling out. Get your face on. <laughs> oh, honestly. I love it. I love it so much. That's that one though. You gorgeous girl, you. Um, got some more down here. <clears throat> Knowing how to fold it to get it all in, and of course it's a double duvet. It's actually a double duvet, is this as well? So it's quite big. I said to my mum, I said, I don't know whether I have the art to cut it up. I might just scan it and then put this on my use this on our bed as an actual duvet cover on our own bed. Um, yeah, never fully dressed without a smile. Um, all right, yeah, and then we're back to that one. Yeah, yeah, we're back to these now. So, I just called to say you are amazing. Yeah, that's up at the top, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, so that's that side. <laughs> and like I said, this is a huge double duvet as well. So, this is where I need to fold it right now to get it in frame. <clears throat> so excited about this one. Oh my gosh, um, today's not the day to be fighting with a duvet cover, honestly. <laughs> um, and then on the back is just this all over. Like, it's just this the whole way over the back of the duvet cover. Not duvet, duvet cover. Um, but yeah, but even these are like books. You know, they're like book pages. They're awesome. Absolutely awesome. So the potential for scanning them is just... Wow, and of course, since getting these last week, we now have an A3 printer, which is also a scanner, so I can scan bigger um, surfaces. So, I mean, apart from being able to print on A3 now, I can scan A3 surfaces to make it bigger and shrink them down or whatever, you know. So, I just, wow absolutely blew my mind in that I was like, oh my gosh that's probably like the best find ever I love it um but yeah oh my goodness I've just knocked everything right the way down here in the corner of my nether spear down never nether spear down there <laughs> that's like the land of no return down there oh dear me oh and I'm not cut out to be Climbing down corners. All right, I'll stick them there. I'll put that over there, and then nearly there, guys. Um, I think I've moved you. I'm sorry. And then, and then, I got these. So I was just like, oh my gosh, wow! I love these. Um, and this is where my maths got rubbish yesterday because <laughs> I was saying about being able to make. Um, what were it? Two covers out of these? No, we weren't make two covers. I was saying about making four covers out of them. That were it. Um, well, no, I can't. Because they're not double-sided. They are. If I only want to use that and that. But anyway, I, I will ignore the math side of things today. But these, again... Um, I mentioned in my holiday haul, when we went on holiday, I found the perfect cover for Tracy's Tumble Down Journal course. And then I saw these the other day and I was like, oh, immediately again, it was like, oh my gosh, I've just found the perfect covers. <laughs> so yeah, not only that, these are cushion covers, not only that, and of course there's two, 
Not only that, thinking for the front originally, I was thinking, oh, well, that's okay, I can use that for the front and then I can use that for the inside on the back. But then I found this. One sec, just let me fold these up and make some room. But yeah, and then I found this. So I'm like, oh my goodness, that plus that, this on the outside, this on the inside to line it, is just the perfect combination. It frays like crazy already before even doing anything with it. I don't know what it is. Um, I, I honestly do not know. Mum says she suspects it could be, um, what did she say? Um, I thought canvas, it feels a bit like canvas material, she said, possibly, but could also be um, muslin. But I don't know because I don't know anything about materials, I've said this before. There's no label on it to say otherwise either, but there is a massive, like for journaling side of things, there is a massive amount of this. It's folded over about four times and it's good quality like i said it frays amazing already before even doing anything with it um but yeah so i like i think i hit the mother lord when i found this and it's already like a ivory color it's not cream um it's not white it's not cream it's like a yellowy ivory color really i don't think it needs um, tea or coffee staining to be honest it's perfect as it is <laughs> I love how it's fraying everywhere already so I'm getting tons of little bits to be able to use for layering and stuff but I just think this as a front cover that as the inside cover is just the perfect match for Tracy's tumble down journal course um, and that is the one that I'm going to be making first the other one I will leave until I've made one with this because there's a lot more of this material. The other one I just have that one cover, that one cushion cover to use, which is this one actually. Um, this one. And if I get it wrong, you know, this is the one that I struggled with with my maths trying to work it out. See, now this one's fine because there's only, the, that pattern's only on one side. So yes, depending how I fold it and what size I cut it, I can get two. Because there'll be one out of this side and one out of that side. That side's just plain. This one, however, I could get four because it's double-sided. This pattern is on both sides of the cushion, you know. So I would only be using this as one side and then I'd be using this or something like this material or something else to back it with. I wouldn't be using that and that as the front and back cover, which is what I was saying before. I had it in my head that I'd be using that as the front and that as the inside and, you know, I could get, oh yeah, I could get two out of it or fold it in half, I could get four. Well, no, because I'll be splitting it, which will give me two separate pieces because it's the same on both sides and I'll be lining it with something else so I could get four out of it. So there's a chance, especially if I do it like that, um, so there's a chance I could get a few out of that, but before I play with that, because that's the one that I really wanted to use, before I ever play with that, I'm going to have a go with this because I've got far more, well not far more, but you know, I just really like this one. And uh, the potential for this is awesome because I could have two journals going that way with this cover, and then because this is the same, I could have two journals going that, that way instead. So... Uh, as well, not instead. But yeah, so them two are going to pair up. Them right, front and inside materials are going to pair up amazingly. Also, <clears throat> I don't think you can see it as well. But this material is very, very similar in colour to this. So together they make the perfect team. They really do. Um, and like I said, I think they're going to be absolutely perfect for that course. And I have been waiting so long to find the perfect. I could have made the journals in that course a million times over by now for the length of time I've had the course. But like I kept saying to the man, I want to do it right and I want to do it. I want perfect. I just haven't been able to find the materials or anything that I like, that I like to have been able to do it with. 
but now I have and anyway moving on last but not least look at these just look at these these are gorgeous these are table mats this is a single piece um, textured obviously on that side but this is just a single piece that somebody has sewn around but look at the detailing in this it's beautiful it's nice and soft and kind of silky as well but it's absolutely beautiful and yeah it cost me two pound for all of this as well it came as a set did it come as a set i'm pretty sure it, yeah it came as a set it cost me two pound for this as well which is awesome um but yeah okay lighting still good but look and as i was saying yesterday and then i had to cut the video off because i needed to sneeze that was really funny that um type man probably didn't think so but it was really funny whilst i was videoing um as i was showing these off at the end of the video i actually had to quickly pause the video because i was about to sneeze so i paused it and as i turned to sneeze he was stood there in the doorway frightened me to death because i hadn't heard him come in and instead of turning and kind of looking down to sneeze i just turned and went <laughs> right in his direction <laughs> poor guy <laughs> it's a good job he's taller than me and i missed him completely <laughs> but yeah it could have been a whole lot worse but bless him, he crept in quietly because he'd come in and doors are shut and he'd heard me, so he's like, oh, creeping in. And he just turned around, he stood there with this, like, oh my God, just completely, right in his face. Well, not in his face, but in his direction instead of downward. <laughs> like, well, that's what you get for trying to be, you know, quiet and sneaking up on me. <laughs> but I was saying before I cut the video off, these folded that way <clears throat> would make a perfect traveler's notebook cover and i found this which is my um oh, ephemeras vintage garden um book not a design team project or anything just one that i'm doing with one of her kits um that was the paper bag cover that i was using but without the paper or even with the paper bag cover you know folded over it's the perfect size to do like a traveler's notebook style i think these paper bag ones work out a little bit bigger than a traveler's notebook <clears throat> size but i like the paper bag ones um but yeah if you just did cut your inserts down to a pair to a traveler's notebook size that would make a perfect traveler's notebook cover so I'm thinking that might be on the cards because I could get several of them out of this, out of this material. It's gorgeous because, you know, I mean, that's folded over there in half and then folded in half again. So that's four because there's one on like one, two, three, four, and then folded in half again. So that's what? Two. No, see, this is where my mask goes completely out the window. So, oh, actually, no, it would just be four. It would just be four. Um, yeah, it would. <laughs> so, two, four. Yeah, it would. Oh, honestly, like I said, this is where mask goes out the window for me. Yeah, it would. So, that's one that's two that's three that's four so yeah get four out of that four out of that so that's eight you know that's eight covers there if i use both of them for nothing but journey for nothing but traveler's notebook style covers size covers that's eight covers i can get out of just those two pieces there and then there's these these are the same slightly different well it's the same pattern but a slightly different positioning of the pattern I don't think they are no they're not um yeah so a slightly different positioning of the pattern but these are really thick um these have been doubled over like layered so i suppose i could unpick them so i've got make that thinner because these i think they'd be great to use that as a ready-made cover if i cut them 
and then just saw down them like in a double stitch like there to reinforce them and these would make a good traveller's notebook cover but I think they're too thick to really do anything with to be honest just noticed we're reaching that 30 minute mark so I cut it off before it cut me off <clears throat> but yeah I think these as they are I think are a little bit too thick um, to actually be doing anything with but I don't know you know we'll see but it just seems such a shame to have to cut it off I don't know what I'll do with these well we will see but that is beautiful and that's already a ready-made cover you know front back it's very stiff but still pliable and yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see but yeah so I was really really thrilled with them and for two pounds as well you know potentially what eight nine ten if I cut them if I just fold them in half and cut them there's potentially ten covers there or if I want more traveller's notebook make a square journal you know it's hard to tell but yes yeah, so absolutely gorgeous loving them love love loving them i got all this great bundle oh my gosh i forgot one um yeah all these great bundles so much potential for all of them and then i've completely forgot about this one i love this one and i don't even want to chop it up i think i'm i probably won't you know with this i think i might just shove a cushion in it and stick it on the bed or something on the chair look at this guys how beautiful is this it is so so pretty this is a cushion cover nice the backing on that is like the same material my curtains are made out of but mine are black um, but yeah that is just absolutely stunning that butterfly is gorgeous now this would make a gorgeous cover if you angled it right you know like the butterfly in there and that there kind of thing it would make a beautiful cover journal cover um, I could use that to put it on the inside too but it just seems such a shame to cut this one up so I might actually just throw a cushion in this one and leave it as a cushion cover because it's just gorgeous really pretty I will scan it and use it as per digital papers myself um, but yeah how cool would that be fussy cut out you know print it scan it and onto a piece of paper well, scan it and print it out on paper and then fussy cut that that'd be gorgeous wouldn't it so would these flowers even just wow but yeah so there you go guys this is my um latest craft haul from the well charity shop hauls and yes yeah, so so much potential there's loads just an absolute bargain everything especially this cover especially this one that made me laugh so much did that um but yeah so <laughs> there we go guys i can't even get them all in now um <clears throat> But yeah, so I am going to now love you and leave you because I, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's dinner time. Um, or it might even might even be a bit later than that. I'm, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, and I'm going to go and grab something to eat. So yes, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I hope you like my haul as much as I do. Um, and I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.